like there's some drama unfolding between Bambi and Scrappy. Now, y'all know these two have been divorced for almost six months, and it's been an ongoing situation of them going back and forth about the kids, about child support, and even about Scrappy mom always constantly coming out and bashing Bambi. Now, apparently, um, Scrappy is pissed off with Bambi because Bambi had did an interview. Now, in the interview, she had stated that Scrappy had took her to court due to a book that she had put out and I guess she had included the kids in the book. And he wasn't too thrilled, so he decided to take her to court. Now, Scrappy did see the interview and was pretty shocked of what she was saying, that he had to go live and express what he really feels about Bambi and his whole situation about her stating that Scrappy had took her to court over this children's book. So now we're going to go and jump. Baby mama number two did. And she was like, I took her to court because of a book she wrote. And I didn't even take her to court for a book. That's something my lawyer did. It doesn't really know the. I, I don't feel like. I, I just think she don't know. I don't think she be being evil because the stuff that she do is like stuff that she wants to do. It's not what we want for our kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like stuff that we want for our kids should be taking place, not stuff that you want. But if it's something that you want for the kids and I feel like that's going to help them, like I ain't even going to fight it. I feel like that's petty. And she said, I'll be petty. I'm like, y'all have no idea, bro, how I try to leave this girl alone, bro. And I'm, I'm coming on here because I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to leave this girl alone, for real. I be trying to leave her alone. I don't be trying to fight at her because my mama already do enough. You know what I'm saying? I be telling my mama, chill, because these your kids, these, like, these your grandkids, mama. Like, yeah, like, leave her alone. But I get it, man. Sometimes this girl, like, she be doing so much under the scope under the telescope and want to be want to want everybody to just love her and think she's a good person and all that no nah, you ain't no good person my you ain't no good person you are not a good person and i'm this is my first time saying it and i'm gonna keep saying it if you keep doing this what you be doing i ain't even told people the real bunk of the stuff because i ain't gonna never tell them i ain't gonna never even say 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 that stuff like that because like god will take care of you on that but this right here like, you know, on, on, like, going to do interviews and stuff like that, talking about I, I go around bashing. I don't bash. I just tell my side of the story because when, when I was quiet, everything was comfortable. Everything was good. Everything, everybody was cool. He, he, that, that, and everybody believed her. You know what I'm saying? When I stayed quiet, you know what I'm saying? But as soon as I opened my mouth and tell the real, like, hey, I was a person that, that talked about this girl like she was damn near God. You feel what I'm saying? I talked about her like she was damn good. You can't even go back to where she ever said anything good about me like that. You know what I'm saying? Never. You can never go back where she helped me with anything. You never helped me build nothing. But I wanted it so bad that I made believe in my head that you helped me build something. Now, our kids, yes, you helped you, you Like, we were together. We made the kids together. But everything else, man, I've been on my own, man. I've been on my own since I was grown. You know what I'm saying? Since I, even when I was a kid, I've been on my own. I'm just saying what's, what happened is I seen a, a, a post from a, a interview that Baby Mama Number 2 did, and it's really devalued. You know what I'm saying? She, but she's been doing that since I was with her. I was right there with her, and she devalued me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up devalued me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up told me. Like, I mean, you could hear the, the type of stuff that came out of her mouth, but none of her friends or family, none of them would ever know it, ever believe it, because she never act like that around them. She never act that way. All the love and hip hop cats, all the women, like, she never act like that around them. You know what I'm saying? She act like that just with me and her. My daughter seen it, E Money seen it. You know what I'm saying? But nobody else seen that shit, bro. Like, I had to sit there and just be. Like, silent, and then it's like, as soon as I react off some shit, and I go do my thing, then I'm the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm the bad guy. Hey, man, listen. I'm going to take accountability for my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was the bad guy. When, 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 when shit was done to me foul, and then I asked numerous of times, quit acting like that, quit doing shit like that, and I had to turn around and, you know what I'm saying? And, my thing. I, had to, I don't know, I just found that it was like, that's the only way I could be happy if I do something myself. You feel what I'm saying? And I found happiness in that, but it, it just created more pain. It created more pain.
created more pain because of like you being that person, you being the person that you're not it, it's doing it to you, you being that person. So you hurting. Why are you hurting? You know what I'm saying? Like it was, just, it was a horrible, horrible cycle. A horrible cycle I was going through. And I chose that cycle because I chose that person. And I don't care if y'all believe me or not. I really don't no more. At first, I used to be wanting y'all to believe me and understand me and feel me. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care no more. My like, I go to my therapist and the therapist tell me not even tell y'all, not to tell nobody because nobody will understand, nobody will believe it because the person will never act like that in front of nobody. They don't want their, their little... Uh, they don't want their little, how, how they look, their perception of, that people got of them to look, go different. You know what I'm saying? So they gonna, they'll never do that. And it hurts so bad. That's why I always talk about it. I always talk about it. I always talk about it because it really, it really, it really, it really, it really, it really me that somebody could play with me like that and still be a victim. You know what I'm saying? Still be a victim. Do me a certain kind of way. And I never say nothing. I never expose them. And I just... I just take the high road because I want to be, I just want to be happy. I want to be successful. I want, I got, I got, I'm going to take care of my kids. I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So I, I never, I never take that little low road. You know what I'm saying? I just, I be trying to teach people. I be trying to help people. When I be posting stuff, I really be trying to teach. But it's, it's crazy how people take my teaching and me trying to, uh, I guess, like, you know, the pain that I had to deal with and I'm trying to help people with you know so they don't have to deal with it because it's a woman they take it and say I'm bashing or they take it and they be like nah nah that, that wrong man I feel like that is wrong it's my that you know men or women could gang up on one person when they're doing nothing but love you feel me like come on my you tell women, oh, this woman did this to me, and they be like, we well, ain't seen it. But y'all don't see it when she say, I did something, y'all believe it. Like, that is crazy as fuck. My is horrible. It's is horrible. Like, no accountability whatsoever. Accountability ain't even in a man. It's in the dictionary of some women, man. For real. And some men. All right, guys, so there you have it. Scrappy told his side of his story, and I just feel that this is not going to end at all. They're going to continue to keep going back and forth, even though, you know, they clear the situation up. But me personally, I do like Scrappy and everything like that, but I just feel the same thing that he was saying about, you know, Bambi. He also was saying stuff with, you know, about Erica when they had broken up. So I don't know. It's like an iffy washy with me with Scrappy. But maybe he is kind of, you know, telling the truth about the situation that he had with Bambi because we don't know what actually goes on behind the scenes. And they just giving us what we want to see on television. Now, as for Bambi, I don't know what's actually going on. So, guys, leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this drama that's going on between Scrappy and Bambi. And let me know which one do you believe. Do you believe Scrappy? Do you believe Bambi? Or you won't believe either one of them. But just leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.